Hey everyone, welcome back to My Life Deliberately. Um, I'm out in the forest uh, near the uh, wood processing area and my future sawmill area. And there's a downed tree right over there. Um, pretty good sized tree. And I'm gonna cut it in 12 and a half foot lengths so I can um, process it on the sawmill into two by sixes for my uh, sawmill shed. So um, I've got some tackle set up. Um, right over there. I've got a block and tackle. I put it up kind of high in the tree because I'm hoping as I drag the tree up, it'll, uh, or I drag the 12 and a half foot sections up, it'll lift it a little bit to keep the front end off the ground. And I've got some rope uh, down to uh, down to the tree down there. So what I need to do is uh, get a chainsaw, cut it into 12 and a half foot lengths, and then try to drag those up using the block and tackle, the rope, and my tractor to pull it. So at least I get it up um, it's a little bit, it's too rough a terrain to try to put the, uh, the log arch down there, but if I can get the logs dragged up to the road, then I can take the log arch and use it from there. So anyway, uh, that's, that's the plan, so let's give this a try.
So this is the most dangerous tree on my property. As you can see, the tree is alive. It might be missing the top, but uh, that's not what makes it the most dangerous tree on the property. It is leaning towards this road, and I travel this road several times a day to get back to my sawmill area and, and my uh, wood processing area, but that's still not what makes it the most dangerous tree on the property. This is what makes this tree the most dangerous tree on my property. Um, about nine years ago, some loggers came through here and they hit the edge of this tree with uh, some of their heavy equipment and ever since then it's just been kind of rotting away you can see there's pieces that are just naturally falling out um, it's just breaking off it's uh, got holes from insects so i know insects are eating it um, so it's not the bend up there and it's not the the tree's not dead or anything but um, you know my road is right there i go by there several times a day when it falls, it's definitely going to fall that direction. Uh, hopefully, I'm not on the road underneath it when it happens. Um, but I'm not sure what to do about this tree. What do you guys think? You know, did you uh, try to cut a notch in here? I don't know how deep that rock goes, but obviously the wood the wood's pretty soft. Um, you know, if you tried to cut a notch in here with a um, barber chair on you right away or uh, um you know i just don't know yeah i mean I hate to just do nothing right um be nice if a big windstorm came through and knocked it over i guess um sounds like the squirrel's not happy with me being here but uh yeah i don't know yeah i mean yeah you could try to cut it i guess i don't know what do you guys think uh let me know in the comments uh, i'd be curious to uh to see what you guys think, you know, and uh, appreciate you guys watching the channel. Uh, like and subscribe if you would; it really helps out. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what let me know what I should do in this. I'm really curious about what you guys think. You know, should I leave it be, cut it down, um, or do something else? But let me know. See you in the next video.